Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today we're gonna work on our Honda HRX217 lawnmower. We've got a problem that uh, it doesn't start as easy as it did when we first got it. Usually Hondas are known for one, one pull start. We're taking about four or five different pulls and what has happened is the wax thermal choke has actually failed. And I'm gonna show you how to replace that today. Okay, so to access the thermal wax assembly, it's located behind the air cleaner. Let me show you how that's done. I've got a pair of needle nose pliers, and then I have a 10 millimeter socket wrench. So what you'll do is you'll take off your air cleaner. And while you're looking in here, if you look behind this plastic shroud, you'll see that the butterfly valve for the carburetor is slightly open. That's how we know that that thermal, thermal wax assembly has actually failed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 10 millimeter wrench. I'm going to take two bolts off and then that will remove the air filter housing. Okay, so as those bolts get loose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the air filter housing in tight against the engine and then I'm gonna remove the bolts. And the reason why I'm doing that is I wanna make sure that the different gaskets and things remain attached, and that way whenever I pull it apart from the engine, I can identify exactly where those are. And when I reassemble it, I'll just put it back together in the reverse order. Okay, here's one of the gaskets I was telling you about. We'll just Take this spacer as well, and we'll set it aside. Okay, so let's get oriented to what we're looking at. This is the intake into the engine, and the wax uh, thermal assembly is located right here. And so if you look pretty close, you see it, what it does is whenever it heats up, the wax melts and it pushes the pin out. And this pin is what actuates the flapper on the inside of the carburetor. This one is sticking straight out. When I compare it to the new one, the new one is not. When it's cold, of course, you wanna have the flapper on the carburetor be completely closed so it gets more fuel. With this being open, of course, that's not gonna happen. And I think that's what's causing the tough start. So let's pull it out and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison really quick. So you'll take your needle nose pliers, take it, pull it straight out. So you can see this is the old one. You'll notice that the pin is sticking straight up and it's cold. This is the new one. It's cold. The pin is not sticking out. You can see? Side by side. That's what's causing the flapper on the carburetor to remain open and it's not getting enough fuel whenever I pull the cord, so therefore it's hard to start. So I'm gonna replace it with a new one. All we do is repeat the process. It fits right in to this spot here. Push it right in. And then all I need to do is reassemble my air cleaner housing in the reverse order of when I took it apart. I found that since there is a number of gaskets that you have to use, it's easier to put the screws in and then start building it from there. So I'll just layer those together and then we'll give it a pull and see if it works.
Okay, and there you have it. We just replaced the Thermal Wax assembly. You can see it is super easy, and for about $10, you can solve the hard to start problem on your Honda lawnmower with just a few minutes and 10 bucks. We'll see you again soon.